Good morning, Taurus. How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. My name is Tyler. I'm going to be your tarot reader today. All right, so what's going on, Taurus? What's going on, Taurus? This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. Not all messages will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, this is going to be for the month of November. Um, for the first half of November. All right. So just take it as it resonates and leave the rest behind. I will be using three decks for this month. Um, and yeah. Just, just stay to the end to make sure you get your message that you're here for. All right. So let's get right into the overall energies. All right. So Taurus. Justice could be dealing with a Libra or these are just the energies you are embodying at this moment in time. So you got justice, the world card reversed, and the magician card. So you could be manifesting uh, someone from your past life so that justice can be served. Um, but this could also mean that uh, you are seeking balance because it you are seeking balance and that Cycles are ending and you are manifesting something even better than what you were in before. So November is just looking at the overall energies. November is going to be looking good for you guys. You guys, your third eye chakra and your crown chakra are like open. Like you guys are doing a magnificent job manifesting what you want. Um, and if you're going through some legal troubles, it looks like you will be getting what you want. And cycles won't be repeating as they did in the past okay so let's do one more shuffle and then look at the other cards so you got the five of swords the hanged man reverse the three of swords the eight of cups right no no seven of cups seven of cups my bad my bad my bad <laughs> Sorry, I get, and then you got the Seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. I don't know, when I'm looking at the, I always look at the Roman numerals. I don't look at the picture, and I should just know it by now, but I get mixed up sometimes. And I apologize, I apologize. I should be better than this. <laughs> um, but either way, uh, it looks like if you are dealing with something in the legal sense or just like, uh, a fight that went up about it looks like the you are going to be coming out the victor in this um, situation and for some you could be getting some money uh, from this but you don't have to it's it's a very rare chance that you're going to be getting money from this that because there's no money cards out there I just I felt like I had to say that uh, for some of you, uh, you will be enlightened on what's going, what's really going on in your situation and why you haven't been able to really move forward at all. Um, you, you are possibly finding out about a third party situation and you are going to re start looking at all the options that you have in front of you. Um, so you, you can either work on this relationship if it is a relationship or a friendship whatever it is for you it doesn't have to be a relationship but it does represent love and third party situations it can be any type of third party situation either way um you're going to be looking at your options and seeing what's going to be best for you during the month of november so do you want to stay in the situation or do you want to just move somewhere else and do your own thing you know that's up to you you do have the seven of swords here so it looks like you are going to be finding out that someone was trying to take from you and you know you're not going to let uh them get away with that you're going to probably take some legal actions or this can be uh, what i was talking about earlier this can either be a divorce or a marriage card uh for some people uh but it doesn't have to be but it's just some type of contract that's going on uh, with the legal system of some sort. All right. Um, 
So yeah, you can just be taking action towards some someone. Maybe you caught someone on camera uh, trying to steal your stuff, and you're going to be taking them to court, and you know they'll have to give you money or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's some sort of toxic situation that's going on right now, um, and it's very unbalanced, and you need to try to balance things out a little bit more because whatever this is it's very unbalanced even though the scales are like um like like good and bad but if this is unbalanced and this is balanced that's not really good you know you're leaning more towards the devil than you are towards um you know the temperance which is all about balance you know you want balance you don't want um you don't, you don't want to be unbalanced because when you're unbalanced, then you aren't sure of what you want and what you want to do, and you make mistakes, and you don't really want to make mistakes. So this could be you um, trying to get away with something and then finding out that it doesn't work out in your favor, uh, but it doesn't have to be. It's whatever resonates with you, you know? Um. Yeah, this can also be you leaving a toxic situation um, and moving towards a better situation that's more stable, more balanced, and more secure for you. All right? One more card. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, but either way, they're coming out as the Page of Cups reverse, so they're not trying to you know, work on the situation or anything. They're not communicating. They're not giving you love or anything. They're just doing their own thing, all right? Give me one second. I apologize for that. I came down with this little cold or whatever uh, the other day, so I just had to take care of that, and now we're all set. So let's see what cards you guys have. What advice cards does the Moonology cards have for... I almost called you Pisces. Definitely could be dealing with a Pisces. Taurus, Taurus. Or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. But like I said, it's up to you. On um, It's different. It's going to be different for everyone. So these are could just be the energies you are embodying or some, the people in route, around you are embodying or this could be their actual sign, all right? Take it as a resonance. But uh, yeah. So what advice cards does Spirit of the Moon have to say for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign? What advice does Spirit of the Moon have to say for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign? Right. So emotions will be running high. And you got that crown chakra there as well. And right your third high your third eye right here, a little bit of your third chakra um as well. Take time to breathe. Breathe out, all right. So when you're deciding on what you want to do. Really take the time to think about it. Don't rush into anything. Like, make sure you're making a balanced and clear head decision before you just go off and do something because it may not work out in your favor if you just go off and do something that you know you wouldn't normally do. All right, I'm gonna pull one more card. Yeah, don't let the past hold you back from doing what's right. Okay, so one more deck, one more deck. So this is my Gaia Oracle card deck, so just take it as it resonates. So this, these are going to be messages from Gaia. So what does Gaia have to say for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign? What does Gaia have to say for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign? What does Gaia have to say for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign? 
What does Gaia have to say for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun? Sacred journey, life cycle, life cycles, family, transformation. Yes, so you're definitely going through changes during the month of November, which makes sense because it is Scorpio season, and Scorpio season is all about change and, you know, just going through the cycles um, that and getting rid of stuff that you don't need anymore, all right? I was going to pull another card, so I'm going to take that card out as well. Um, oh, I guess I pulled two more. So, lost love, surrender, healing, release. All right. So, you could be releasing a situation that no longer serves you and healing from it. Um, and, you know, sacred heart, passion, love, spiritual connection. So, even if you don't have love right now, it looks like there will be love and passion coming towards you in the month of November. Uh, pur purification, uh, water, emotional cleansing, rejuvenation. Now is a really good time to uh, just focus on, you know, just focus on yourself and cleansing yourself and your energy. So you may want to take like a long bath or whatever, you know, just... Take long, just be around water. You could literally just stand by like the ocean or a lake or a pond or whatever, and you will start rejuvenating your energy just by standing next to it. All right. Especially if you have water in your chart, water signs really um, are very good with uh, like just standing by water and become like being able to think and uh, think straight and stuff like that, all right? So that's going to be your messages for today. I hope you guys resonated with this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.